Let's talk about noise reduction. Now, usually with audio recording, noise basically means hiss, stuff in the background that just sounds bad. And you usually get it from bad equipment, bad wiring, but usually just bad techniques, to be honest. Now, I've asked my colleague Katie Brody to record something specifically bad and send it to me to see if I can fix it using WavePad. So, this is the file she sent me. It's at a pretty low level anyway, but I guess we could normalize it. But just listen to it. Let's go back to the beginning, home, and push the space bar. The DT value calculator is a financial benefits tool. The value calculator is designed to give an accurate estimate of the monetary benefits that our products can provide for our customers. So did you hear that hiss in the background? I, <laughs> I hope you're not listening to this on a train or something or in a car, well, as a passenger, of course, uh, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear it. But there's some really nasty hiss there. That will be rejected by people. If I just play that, if I highlight it and then just play... Can you hear that hiss? Pretty horrible, isn't it? And if you look on the uh, meter down here, it's not quite at minus 45, but it certainly is noticeable. So somehow we've got to get rid of that. Now, there are various ways of doing it. First of all, if we go to effects, we'll see there is a button that says clean up with a nice picture of a broom, cleaning audio, <laughs> removal of noise and clicks. So we'll do clicks and another one, but Noise reduction comes, first of all, at the top here, and there's a wizard. Well, that looks very, very useful, doesn't it? Let's see what the wizard can do. And sometimes wizards can be very effective. But if that doesn't work, well, we'll make our way through the list, shall we? First of all, the wizard. Let's click. So, select the noise type. Old or low quality. Low volume recording with background noise. Yeah, no clicks, no popping. Constant hum, no. Background traffic, no. So I think it's a low volume with background noise. All right, next. Preview the file. So here we go. The DT value calculator is a financial benefits tool. The value calculator is designed to give an accurate estimate of the monetary benefits that our products can provide for our customers. It gives the... <laughs> so... We don't like that, do we? Because it's replaced the hiss with some sort of strange jangling noise in the background. Because it's not magic. I mean, there are some really fantastic noise reduction tools out there. A very expensive one used by the professionals comes from Waves, W-V-E-S. It's called Clarity VX Pro. But it takes a while to learn. As I, as I say, it's very expensive. And if you have Adobe Audition, that has denoiser. The latest version of that is excellent, but this sounds like it's a it's a pretty old noise removal tool. I don't think that's going to make customer it. a clear idea of how more prosperous they can be when partnering with Bula, even under. No, no, no. It's not going to work, is it? But uh, if we did say finish, let's hear what it's like after it's done its work. Hmm. No. <laughs> It's replaced the hiss with this sort of jangling thing. It I don't think we'll have the wizard for that. Thank you very much. So we're going to undo all that. And we're back at the hiss. So let's go back into effects and clean up again. Noise reduction. Noise gate. Now, I have spoken a lot about noise gates on the VoiceOver Masterclass. They're not a great idea. A soft noise gate is great, like the one you get from rear. In fact, we'll look at that later as a VST plugin. The noise gate here is really a switch on and off. So we know that this particular hiss is about 40 decibels, maybe a bit more than that. So it's got hold and release. We'll keep that as it is at the moment. So basically, when it goes below a certain level, it's going to attenuate by 127 decibels. That's a lot. There are presets, by the way, but uh, you can save things as well. So first of all, before we apply it, let's see if this works. The DT value calculator is a financial benefits tool. The value calculator is designed to give an accurate estimate of the monetary benefits that our products can provide for our customers. It gives the customer... <laughs> so all it's done, of course, being a noise gate, is that on the gaps in between the words, yes, the level does go 
below minus 44. But of course, the hith is also in her words as well. And that still sounds terrible. So a noise gate is not the answer here. We've still got this noise. It's still in between her words. It gives the customer what we're going to do. Right, let's go back again to clean up, noise reduction. This time, auto spectral subtraction. What is spectral subtraction? Well, first of all, we have to explain what the uh, spectral system is. Now, so far, we've used just a waveform view. In other words, it's just the volume we're looking on screen. But it is very useful to look at the frequencies as well of what we're seeing here, simply because we can then target those frequencies and then we know which ones we need to enhance, which ones we need to get rid of. So we need a frequency view. It's a frequency spectrogram view, all right? Or just frequency view. So let's go into the view menu. Oh, where's the view menu gone? <laughs> Remember at the very beginning, I said, let's simplify things because a lot of people find it complicated having a like a double kind of menu at the top. So there's our question mark, top right hand corner. To the left of it, there's the arrow that we clicked first of all. Let's click it again. And there we are, it all comes back again. So let's click the view menu, and then wave, and then frequency view. Now look at the bottom. There's a few colors there, and it's uh, gradually growing. It's uh, basically creating a frequency view there. Now, it may appear blank to you when you first do this, but it will start filling out from the left to right. It takes time to perform the uh, what's called a Fourier transform on the audio data to uh, generate the view. Its horizontal axis represents time, just as the waveform does, but the vertical axis represents sound frequencies. So you've got low frequencies at the bottom here and high frequencies at the top. And as your mouse moves, you see you get the information here as well. So it gives you much more power. This spectrogram frequency view allows you to visualize the frequencies, navigate to a point of interest, analyze frequency content, and uh, you can also apply effects to or you can isolate a particular sound. Spectral subtraction is usually used where noise is really a problem, such as this particular file that Katie has sent. This is the automatic method of spectral subtraction. So we select a short part of noise only, and that's usually in a, a gap in the audio. So if we just zoom in a bit to that beginning part, and to zoom in, you either use the thing down here on the right-hand side, which is a little slider thing like that, or you can hold Control or Command down and push the plus key, all right? So we're here at the beginning. There's a bit of noise there, isn't there? Oh, yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? So there we go. We can just select that then. Now we go back into our Effects menu, Effects here, and then into Clean Up again. We did that before, didn't we, Pete? Yes, but this time we're going to go Noise Reduction, Grab Noise Sample from Selected Area for Spectral Subtraction. It's now grabbed a noise sample. We go back to the whole file, zoom out again if you want to, hold Control or Command down, minus key, and now we select the whole thing, which is Control plus A, it's now selected the whole thing, and now back to clean up, back to noise reduction, and now spectral subtraction based on noise sample. All right, here we go. And now we play it. Value Calculator is designed to give an accurate estimate of the monetary benefits that our products can provide for our customers. It gives the customer clear... There's still a little bit of that all jingly jangly in the background, but it is much better. So it's a far better way of doing it. It may seem a long way to you, but honestly, it is worth it. I hope you found those tips useful. And in the next section, we'll be taking a look at how to make audio levels even. Now, you may think, well, all you have to do is to normalize, don't you? But what happens when you're trying to deal with a file, which is a combination of recordings from other sources or recordings from other people. Maybe you're editing together a showreel taken from 
various recordings over a period of time or been processed in different ways. So in the next section, we'll look at how to even out those levels. Hey, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or watch the video once more, just in case there's something you've missed. Now over to my left, you can continue watching. Just click the video you'd like to watch next. And please click the thumbs up icon to let me know if you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. And if you've not done so already, remember to subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos.